14 emerging embezzlers have come to London to mourn the death of the Queen's third cousin. I want the best of the best, the cream of the crop, la creme de menthe. They've just flattened the puppy in my portmobile! Ich liebe den Geruch von Napalm and Morgan! Only five candidates remain. I'm not sure they can even wipe their own asses, Karen. Today, they face their toughest test to date. This man has been refurbishing abstracts since the Carolingian Renaissance. Veracity vulture Claude Littner is interviewing the would-be finalists. What he doesn't know about interrogating simpering morons in heavily edited sequences set to dramatic music isn't worth knowing. If there is a chink in your armour, he will find it. Alright. Claude inspects the candidate's CVs. This is the Great Gatsby of resumes. Water boarding. I was the cloth hamster. Scalping. If you don't hire me, I'll kill your kids. Knee capping. Would anyone like a worth of the original? I can do nastier stuff too. Your CV says you can't read. Super! What else does it say? Next, he subjects the candidates to a gruelling examination. I'm going to say a word. You say the first thing that comes into your head. Oh my god, this sounds difficult. For example, Prince Andrew. Paedophile. Exactly. Okay, let's go. Efficiency. Circle. Exercise. Parkour. Leadership. Castration. Friendship. Slugs. Sex. One day. Innovation. Bridge. Leadership. Bridge. Kids. Bridge. Scrutiny. Fridge. Having subjected the Tories to their most rigorous test since Des Swain spiked the conference punch with PCP, Claude reports back. Claude, what are you saying? This country is fucked. Agreed. Right then. Dosh Spice, Antichrist Spice, Fisher Price, you're fired. Horny Spice, Parasite Spice, thanks for that PPE contract. I'll see you in the final. Join us next week for the final of The Apprentice.